something People say you'll never be nothing You'll never be something Well, you know what I think, I think It's crazy for you to believe Everything you hear So take your hand my beauty journey has been a roller coaster ride. There's been low times, there's been high points. But I literally grew up a sponge and I was soaking in everyone else's identity for me except my creator, you know, except the identity he had in mind for me. So going to school there was there was a look that was all the boys talked about. It was the brown curly hair, slim nose, light skin, clear skin. And as you can see, some of those things I didn't quite fit in. Like my hair's not curly, it's not brown, my nose is not slim, um, I don't have clear skin. And I would always look at what they said. So it's not even what they were saying about me, it was more a case of what they would say about what they admired about other girls. If I didn't have that, I would then feel you know, that I wasn't pretty and that I wasn't beautiful. And I struggled with that for many years and I didn't feel like I could ever talk about my insecurities because, um, and people think you don't have those problems or you don't have insecurities and you can't talk about them so I internalized everything and I kept everything in and year after year from moving from secondary school to college to my gap year to uni I was just soaking up everyone else's identity what they thought about me what they thought was good what they thought was pretty what they thought was beautiful and it was only until I heard a word from it was either a friend or a sermon about you know how many times do we hear that Jesus and God is described as beautiful you know we, we talk about it we hear it in worship songs you know Jesus you are beautiful God you are beautiful but we haven't seen Jesus we haven't seen God so if we can describe him as beautiful then clearly beauty is something more than just skin deep beauty is not something that's on the outside because I can't then say Jesus is beautiful and I haven't seen it and it was that which really hit me and I learned that, hold on a second, my beauty is not determined by the way I look on the outside, my beauty is what's on the inside. And that is what made me realise that I am beautiful, because beauty is not something that can be seen. You know, it's not something that, it's, it's not a physical feature, it's not your outward appearance and many a times we focus so much on making sure our external is alright, you know, I would have times where I would have an event come up last minute and I couldn't wear my own hair out and I would go to, you know, I have to run to the shop and get a weave done because I was so insecure about wearing my hair out or going out without makeup or these things and we spend so much time and so much money making sure that our external is on fleek um, but how much time are you really, you know, spending on the inside and it wasn't until I got convicted with that word about you know we call Jesus beautiful we say he's beautiful but we haven't seen him and that's when I realized I am beautiful um, my nose may not be slim my forehead might be big you know I might not have the same body style or body shape as you know the you know, small waist big hips but I am beautiful and it's what's on the inside that makes me beautiful and I really had to identify with the word and see God how he see myself how God sees me I had to see myself through his lens to know that it's not what people say about me it's not what people think about what beauty is it's what God says I am beautiful this is my beauty journey I'm not sitting here and saying I no longer have any insecurities you know it's a daily battle it's a daily journey but I know that God made me and I remember like every time I would complain about ins an insecurity beat my skin on my nose I remember my mum always saying that I'm shoving my hand in God's face and when you literally sit down and think about it you are doing it. if you're complaining about the way he made you the God who made the heaven and earth the God of the creator of the heaven and earth and you're playing and playing about the, the size he made your nose or the size he made your forehead you literally are shoving your hand in his face and saying God you didn't do a good enough job on me think about that the, the God who created heavens and earth and I realized that if I actually if I believe in this God that I serve the believe in the creator of the heaven and earth then I must truly believe that he knew what he was doing when he made me he knew what he was doing and he didn't make any mistakes he didn't make my nose too big in comparison to Sarah Jane he didn't make my forehead too big in comparison to another one and I'm saying this because I actually have come to embrace it there was a time when you would never ever catch me on this camera or even taking a selfie like I never took selfies because I just thought it magnified all of my insecurities but I've gotten to a point now where I can be like no God loves me God thinks I'm beautiful and I am beautiful this is my beauty journey find your beauty journey it's it's 
it's liberating it really is liberating who the sun sets free is free indeed and i can tell you i am no longer a sponge i no longer walk around soaking up everyone else's identity everyone else's thoughts of, of me i look to god now and i look to the creator of the heaven and earth who made me michaela shanice whiteley i am beautiful I'm not sure